Okay, so what you see in front of you is a picture of Richard Stallman. There are actually 8,901 pictures of Richard Stallman because each uh, pixel is assembled of a picture of Richard Stallman. Okay, so that poster was a output of this little program I wrote. So, basically this program takes a file input of an image. Um, we could do turkey.jpg and it will take that image and you specify a size. So I'm going to do 50 by 50. The size is for the uh, resolution of the output photo as well as all the subphotos. So 50 by 50 should output a 2500 by 2500 uh, resolution picture or something close to that. So the first part of my uh, program actually just generates the image and but it generates a bunch of these uh, uncompressed um, PPM files and these PPM files are then pretty much attached to each other in a line and then each line is then attached to the output image. So what's actually in a PPM file is a uh, first it has two data points displaying the size of the image. Uh, in this case, it's 50 by 28 pixels, and then the color depth, which is 255. And then it's just a long list listing out red, green, and blue for every single pixel within that image. This uh, sort of raw image data it takes up a huge amount of space, but even though it takes up a lot of space, it's very easy to work with, and you don't have to deal with uh, any sort of uh, compression when you can just have them in an array. So let's go take a look at that turkey fo like, photo. So it should output a file called turkey.outpng and as you can see it's a uh, turkey made from little pictures of turkeys. Uh, at lower resolutions it uh, doesn't quite produce as more realistic of an output as you'd expect, but the uh, higher resolutions kind of take a while to render because you're dealing with uh, thousands of these uncompressed photos that are just, uh, well, what happens is you have this square and it's by 100 by 100 pixels and each pixel is gonna become 100 by 100 pixels. So you pretty much take your value and then for each row and height and then it's to the power of four. So doubling the length of the image makes the uh, compile time go up by like 16. Or it's not the compile time, but the time for the program to run. So if I set this to 100 by 100. Ooh, oh, sorry. Not fair. It should be um, like postify. It's gonna go a lot slower. It'll still. It has to go through 3100, and it should. Anyways, though, here I'll actually get into how the program works before I start to ramble on about this. So basically, uh, it has a class called image.ppm, and that just stores some basic information about the image, which is like max red, max. Um, minimum red and you know pretty much each color also an average and it has some functions for loading and reading the image from a file and these will just pretty much store it in a vector and then my program has a vector assembled from those uh, image ppm objects so the first thing it's going to do is have a loop that converts the oh Actually, sorry, uh, wrong spot. The uh, it also has a function called image two tone, and what that that is going to do is it's going to take a full color image and then pretty much generate the a two tone image from that. That is, uh, I guess, all, you know, it's uh, monochrome and only uses two tones, but. You can see it doesn't look very good at low resolution, but 
you take a look at some of these uh, slightly higher resolution two-tone images. Let's find a, find the uh, output of a black and white one. As you can see, it is a picture of RMS. And yeah, so let's go back to the code. So in main, if it's first gonna check some like sanity checks, like if there's the right amount of inputs to the function. And then it's going to move on to converting the uh, image to a uncompressed uh, PPM file so it can work with it. And next, it's, uh, it's gonna fill out the images and this function is actually gonna call the uh, two-tone function from above and set up that array of images. So after that, it has to stitch them together. And all that's gonna do is it's gonna have, since each uh, object's gonna have its own little PPM file generated, it's gonna take all these PPM files and it's just gonna assemble them into lines and then take each line and assemble that into a full image. Okay, so I guess now that you understand how the uh, program works, I guess I could just fill in some details on why I did this project. So, originally, um, one of, uh, well, my friend's roommate uh, was doing this art project uh, for one of his uh, university classes where they construct this uh, three-tone image from, uh, it was a picture of David and Goliath. I don't know the exact process. It might've been something with oil painting or something. It was uh, kind of interesting, but weirdly my first thought was, wow, this could be automated with a computer and it would probably come up a little bit more, uh, I guess, accurate. Um, I know their, their project looked fine actually, but anyways though, so from there I decided to try to make a, I guess, two-tone image, and I originally I was just gonna make a three-tone image of David and Goliath, like their art project, but after constructing an image, uh, I kinda just wanted to put it into a grid. So, I did kinda have some, I guess, problems with it. Was, uh, first, like, if you flip the X and Y values, you get something kind of interesting, like, uh, it's, uh, I guess, a stratified Richard Stallman, where each row is, uh, and put it as a Y value, which is kind of cool. Um, some people commented on, uh, I guess, what Richard Stallman is holding, but anyways, uh, after that, I got it a little bit better. I mean, it's still not too tone here. It's uh, kind of using, treating the red, green, and blue value separately. So from there, I went to something like this, where it was supposed to be two-tone, but there's still some bugs. But eventually I just had a loop that just kind of evened out all the colors. And from there, I kind of had a program that resembled the uh, previously seen code. But I just wrapped that code in an object to generate the program you see below. And I guess that kind of summarizes it. It's uh, kind of interesting, I think. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed learning about this and hopefully this was uh, more interesting than it was artistic with a U. So uh, have a good one and bye.